Here's the boy. Do you remember when he first came? He was so tiny. He was so, so little. I think him's going to be a big boy. You are going to be a good boy and have a happy life, aren't you? And be the best friend, yeah, for Shelby. But you know, I only feel there's two, two or maybe three. That's it. But he had dozens and dozens. You little wiggle butt. You ready? Huh? You ready to go bye bye? So, from what I've heard you talk about with adoption, you bring them into the house to a cat that has never been around another cat. So, just bring the carrier in, let Shelby sit. Yeah. Shelby has not been around other cats. No. Yeah, she'll be one. Except her sibling when she was four weeks old. Yeah, and left but that's... Yeah. Yeah. Like anybody but Kate. Hey, Becky. Yeah, can you help me with him for one minute? Sure. Um, well, it will be a little different. Yeah, we, we almost do. I did last week, but we should do it again. It's going to be a little difficult. I do like it. For Shelby. So don't worry if Shelby grumbles, growls, and complains because she's going to. You just have to know she is going to. She doesn't know what this is. She, she is a Persian pup playing in her head. Oh, stop. Now, you've had this one since you was a wee baby, have you? Uh, um, and it may take a little while. You may have to trust. And it may take a while for Shelby to realize that Dexter is not going to hurt him. And don't worry if Shelby does grumble and growl at him because he's used to it from the other cats. Um, doesn't really, it probably won't bother him at all. Other than he will have a need. Okay, I need to. Um, really? Stop. He is used to the other cats. Yeah. It's okay, I'm used to it. Shelby won't be mad at her. If you just hold him, maybe like. This one. Oh, not my fault. Yeah. She does. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to take a little use to for Shelby to realize that Dexter. Dexter might be like, "How dare you? What are you doing to me?" Not going to hurt her. But yeah, and that it will be a little difficult for Shelby. So I'm just going to bring the carrier in and put it on the room floor. Put it on the floor. Let Shelby swim out. Yeah. And when Shelby gets bored and walks away, I'll open the carrier. And the next person come out. Yeah. And I'll show them the paper every 20 minutes for the first hour or two. Yeah. And then while he's in that, I'll put the carrier in the room floor. And then I'll put the carrier in the room floor. And then while he's in that, and Shelby kind of, he's like, oh, it's time to do his review because he was on my time. Uh oh. Um, maybe shut the bedroom doors. Make the house a little bit smaller. He's never not used the litter box. He just has to know where they're at. And, and we, we just have a one floor apartment. Mm -hmm. And the, the big, big kitty litter is <coughs> in the, we call it the back bedroom, but we made it into like a TV room. Uh huh. So I'll close our bedroom door mm -hmm. and then I'll just leave that door open. Yep. Yep. That sounds good. You know, and his ratty ears that he has may also be a part of. These are these are really nice. Oh, Dexter. All this torment you're gonna sleep all the way up. Yeah. Okay, buddy. There we go. Gosh, she's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> all right, let's try it one more time to go potty, okay? <laughs> He does not, not want to stay in the box. So he says, I'm not going to go potty. I don't have to. I don't want to. And you're not going to make me. <laughs> I'll open my mouth. He'll be good, okay? And Shelby will be okay with you.
But it will be different for her. So it will be some adjustment. Then in the meantime, you have to give him lots of loving because he's the right. same all his birdies. Right. Oh, I can't say. Yeah. Oh, so I know like you I told my have. husband, I said, I have to still be Shelby's number one. Mm -hmm. So my husband, I failed to say, okay. Hey, why don't, don't you fun. try that? It is the fun thing that we do. Right. You become a...